Hey folks, as you know, Superbase is very generous with the amount of free projects that you can use. However, I want to show you uh, as well how I normally start a new project fully in local development, allowing me to move really quickly and just throw up an idea um, and specifically show you how I use the local Superbase Studio to not have to write any SQL, which probably most of you will also enjoy. So I have a completely new uh, project here. Let me just open it up in uh, VS Code. Uh, and when you have a new project, the first thing you want to do is run Superbase in it. Uh, and we can also generate uh, a VS Code workspace, which is helpful if we are working with um, Superbase functions later on in our project. Uh, and then we want um, to have the configuration for uh, Superbase functions to work correctly with Dino. So that is um, that's quite helpful later on. Uh, and now that we have um, this here, so we just have also this um, config.toml, which is sort of the configuration for our local um, Superbase stack and then a seed.sql. But as I mentioned, we don't want to write any SQL today, but we want to use the Superbase Studio. So first things we need to do is run Superbase start to start up our um, local Superbase development stack. And now here we have Superbase fully up and running locally, including the Superbase Studio. Uh, and so we have everything here, SQL editor, database, authentication. But what we're interested in is our table editor. And specifically here, we can create a new table. Um, let's say we want to create a users table. Um, yes, we want to enable role level security. You can read more about um, our last here. And then the ID, we actually want that to be um, a UUID because we want to reference um, our auth uh, users. So we select the auth schema, there is a users table, and then within the users table, we want the ID. Uh, and what we can do also here, so if there is a record, basically if a user is being deleted from auth.users, uh, then we can also cascade delete um, our record from our um, users, or we could do um, kind of no action, uh, what have you, but let's just select um, cascade delete here, which is quite handy. Um, and then we want to add a column for our user's name. Uh, we want that to be text. Uh, and also we want this not to be null. So by default, we allow nullable, but let's say not null. Um, and then maybe, yeah, let's start with that give that a save. And so what we can do now here is um, we can actually switch here is a toggle uh, between data and definition. Uh, and we can actually see the entire SQL um, that here is the de definition for our table. So we could then actually just copy that. But the better workflow here is to use Superbase DB diff. Uh, so we have that here in um, the CLI reference. And um, I'll link that in the description below as well. This uses a great open source tool called Micra, um, which we're wrapping to handle um, migrations. Um, and so what we can do is we can get the difference between um, our locally running Superbase database and the migration files in um, our database folder. So what we can do is we can Superbase DB diff and we can just provide the local flag. And so this is creating um, a shadow database under the hood, and then it's comparing it against the migrations that we have um, here in our database um, folder, in our Superbase folder. And we currently don't have any migrations in here. So we can see here um, the diff between the current state of the migrations and um, our database running locally. Um, now, there's a great flag as well, which is the file flag um, with a string name. So we can automatically uh, create a migration from uh, this DB diff. So we can say we can also provide the schema flag. So we, we can say we only want to look at 
the public schema here. Uh, and then we can say file um, equal, and we can say create um, users table, for example. And so now um, we're again diffing our changes, uh, but at the same time, we're now writing this into uh, a migration file here. Uh, and so now again, if we're running Superbase um, DB diff, um, we're now checking, we're applying the migrations um, to our shadow database and we're uh, checking and so we don't have any changes. And so now we have uh, our local project here, our Superbase folder uh, in sync with our uh, locally running um, database. So what we can do now is if we're making um, changes to our table, so say, for example, we're adding an email column, we'll make that a text column, um, we allow nullable and we save that. Uh, so now again, if we're checking in the definition here, we can see that our email column um, was added. Uh, but again, now we want to make sure um, we have this also in our um, you know, local project. And then obviously when we push this to, you know, GitHub that our team members have um, kind of up-to-date um, changes as well. So what we can say is uh, update users table. Okay. And now we're running again, our DB diff. We're checking if there were any changes and yes, uh, there were some changes. So we're creating a new migration and we're now here altering our table and we're adding the column email. Great, so now we have a really, really nice um, workflow that we can use. Um, now let's say, okay, we're, we're graduated from local development and we're actually uh, wanting to create a proper um, project for this. So we can say new project um, in my organization. I'll just call this local dev tips. Now, one of my other um, local dev tips is to use uh, some sort of password manager to manage your database passwords. That way you have your password um, available later when you uh, link your project, um, you know, your, your hosted project, your hosted Superbase project to uh, your local project. Uh, and the way that you do that is by taking um, the project ID you always have the project ID either here um, in the tab bar or um, you know the URL as well. So this is your uh, project ID. And what we can do now is we can say superbase link and we'll need to provide our project reference and set that one here. And again, this is where you need your database password. So if you use your password manager, then this becomes very easy. So now we're linked up. So we'll first need to check that our project is up and running. So it's all up and running and configured now. We're connected. And so now we can just say Superbase DB push. Um, so first, if we check here, you know, we have a completely fresh new project. And now we can just say Superbase DB push. Uh, and that will apply kind of all our um, migrations here. And so now we have this um, up to date um here with our name email so there you have it this is how you can uh, really improve your local development um flow migrations flow um and also you know when you're working collaboratively uh, always make sure you check these in these migration files into uh, github share them with your team and then everyone can work um really really nicely together I hope this tip was useful for you and let us know what else you'd like to learn and see you next time.